Hello everyone! Welcome to our vlog. This is Mimi Guapa. And this morning, <clears throat> we shall do another recording of our daily devotional reading series. We are reading from the book Our High Calling, written by Mrs. Ellen Goldwhite. We are creating these videos as an alternative for people who are always on the go and struggling to develop a closer relationship with Jesus by studying His words daily and communing with Him. So in less than 10 minutes, you will be enlightened by the message of the Lord and your life will be enriched and that you will be a step closer to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Your religious affiliations also do not matter here. As long as you are a Christian wanting to develop a closer relationship with Jesus, well, these videos were created especially for you. So why don't we get on with our reading for today? But before we do so, may I invite you to please seek the Lord with me in prayer. Shall we pray? O oh Lord, our harbor and our strength, we thank you so much for waking us up today, for making us remember that you are our supreme God, that you alone is enough. Thank you for your love and for your compassion. May you guide us all the time, and may you bless us from all of our struggles. May you purify us, Lord. May you cleanse us and make us whole. Father, this morning, as we do our devotional reading, may you be with us. Send your Holy Spirit to be upon us that we will be open and receptive of the message that we will be hearing today. Guide each one of us, Lord, that all of our struggles will be overcome, will be over, and we will be victorious, that we will be able to bring glory and honor to your name. Thank you so much, Lord, for everything. Thank you for your love and for your compassion. This we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> Words that bring sunshine and joy. October 15. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. Colossians chapter 4 verse 6. The talent of speech was given to be used for the benefit of all. Pleasant, cheery words cost no more than unpleasant, moody words. Sharp words wound and bruise the soul. In this life, everyone has difficulties with which to wrestle. Everyone meets with grievances and disappointments. Shall we not bring sunshine instead of gloom into the lives of those with whom we come in contact? Shall we not speak words that will help and bless? Such words will be just as verily a blessing to us as to those to whom they are spoken. Parents, allow no fault finding in your home. Teach your children to speak pleasant words, words that will bring sunshine and joy. Angels are not attracted to a home where discord reigns. Bring practical godliness into the home. Prepare yourselves and your children for entrance into the city of God. Angels will be your helpers. Satan will tempt you, but do not yield. Do not speak one word of which the enemy can take advantage. Day by day, we are sowing seeds for the future harvest. We cannot be too careful of the seed we sow by our words. Often, words are carelessly spoken and forgotten. But these words, for good or ill, will bring forth a harvest. Sow one unkind harsh word, and this seed, finding soul in the minds of the hear hearers, will spring up to bear fruit after its kind. Sow one seed in loving, gentle, Christ-like words, and it will bring you rich returns. Let us guard ourselves 
lest we speak words that are not a blessing, but a curse. If we sow wheat, we shall reap wheat. If we sow tares, we shall reap tares. And the harvest, whether of wheat or of tares, will be sure and abundant. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that he also reap. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 The harvest is sure. No frost shall blight it. No palmer worm destroy it. God calls upon his children to guard their words. The end for today's reading. So we are to be the vanguards of kind words. We are to utter words that will be pleasing to the sight of our Lord and would make people be vibrant instead of putting them on gloom. Because life in this world is already hard. Let's not add more to it. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I hope that you be with me also again in this journey of putting kind words in our mouth. I also struggle to do so at times, especially that sometimes when I am temperate, I tend to utter words in disarray and in hurtful tones and sounds, but today I am being reminded not to do so. May God bless you in that journey. Thank you for leaving a like, for leaving a comment in the section below, and for sharing okay. this video to people whom you think will be blessed by the message, and for subscribing in our channel. Adieu!